Good morning, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, if you're new around here, I've just got back from my Couch to 5K run. I've just done week five, run two, which is two lots of eight minutes of running, which I'm so happy with. My next run though is the big one, because I'm gonna be running for 20 minutes, non-stop. <laughs> God help me. It's actually the East holidays, the boys are off. Will you say hello, Landy? Just eating a banana. Um, but yeah, got my run out of the way, so I'm really happy about that and I can get on with the rest of the day. So I hope you're all well. Thought I'd come on and say hello. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. We're actually going to Butlins on Friday, so I thought I would come up here and pack a few bits. Like I wanna pack my toiletries bag and I wanna have it like always packed, but there are a few things that I like to put into the bag, like closer to the time before we go away. So I thought I'd show you what I usually keep in my toiletries bag and then anything else that I'm gonna be adding in to the bag. So this is my toiletries bag, isn't it gorgeous? It's from Elizabeth Scarlet absolutely love this bag so i'm just gonna put a facial wash in i've got a molten brown shower gel i need to get another one of these actually out of the cupboard i've got one of those this is heavenly ginger lily i've got my philip kingsley density scalp drops i've got my fussy deodorant this part of the video is sponsored by Fussy. This is my deodorant that I've currently been using. So Fussy is on a mission to reduce the amount of single use plastic in our daily routines. This is why they have brought this amazing deodorant out. Fussy's ingredients are all natural. So they're vegan, they're cruelty free. There's no aluminium and there's no parabens. Also though, within the ingredients is a natural probiotic, which actually helps with odor. So I know that when you switch to a natural deodorant, it might be a little bit off putting because you feel like you're smelling and it's, you know, your body has to get used to it. But this formula actually works for over 24 hours and basically the probiotic eats odor for breakfast. Very strange, but it works and I have been putting it to the test because I've been on my running journey recently. I have been really putting this deodorant to the test and it's been working amazing. There are so many different scents to choose from as well, which I absolutely love. The scent is so, so nice. I can't remember what fragrance I went for this time. Let me get it out. So it's so easy to take out, you literally undo it there. And these also are compostable. So you can just chuck them into your compost when you're finished with them. So the scent that I'm currently using is called Cloud Nine. A few other scents I really wanna try are Jasmine Bloom. This is like a fresh scent. So it's like Jasmine Flower and Green Tea. Also Tropic Tonic. I feel like this one will be really lovely for spring. So it's Tropic Tonic Lime. So it's Lime, Basil and Mandarin. Also, if you do have really sensitive skin, then they do have an unscented version as well, which I think is brilliant. I'm obsessed with all of the different cases. They do a lilac one. My one is the ocean blue. I really love the mint green case as well because it kind of matches my toothbrush and the blush one is super pretty. If you're looking to switch to a natural deodorant then definitely check out Fussy. I've also got a discount code for you which will get you 15% off your first order. So use my code LISA15. I'll leave a link down below for you so you can go check that out. Go check out all of the different cases that you can choose from and the scents as well and let me know which fragrance you decide to go for. Now let me show you what else is going into my toiletries bag. I've got my forehead stick. I've got a Sol de Janeiro um, cream. This is the Bomb Dia Bright Cream. This smells so good. I've got my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. My Colgate Max White. My Suri Toothbrush. Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is for emergencies only. I rarely use this, but I like to have it on hand just in case. I've got a couple of facial cleansing pads and then a couple of hair clips in case I need them when I'm getting ready. I've got my Tan Lux Super Glow. My favourite Jo Malone perfume in a travel size, this is the Mer and Tonka. A hair scrunchie and hair clip, some safety pins just in case I need them. Face mask in case I need a pamper, this is usually for when I'm travelling alone but I'll put it in there anyway. And then finally, a lint roller. I feel like I'm sharing with you a bit of a running diary at the moment and telling you about my Couch 5k journey. So. Maybe I should do a whole video on Couch 5k at some point, maybe once I've completed it. Let me know if you'd like to see that. But I wanted to give you an update on where I am. I just this morning actually did week six run one. So I did the week five run three run, which was included like a 20 minute run. And then today I also did week six run one. I am getting there. I feel really good about it. I really was dreading actually the 20 minute run. I was really nervous about it. I just didn't think I'd be able to run for 20 minutes straight. Never done that before in my life, which sounds crazy, but I've never been into running. Never, never wanted to run for anything. So when I did the 20 minutes yesterday, I was so, so happy with myself. It was actually Easter, was it Easter? Yeah, Easter Sunday yesterday. So I did it Easter Sunday morning, 
it was really sunny. I just felt amazing when I got home from it. So I did week six run one today. It was a little bit more broken up the run. So you didn't do like a full run. It was like broken up with walks as well in between. I found that a little bit more tricky actually. I actually enjoy running for longer periods of time. I'm pretty sure at the end of this week, I'll be doing a 25 minute run. I just, I can't believe it. So yeah, I've got quite a few different like running favorites and just favorites at the minute. So if you would like to see a favorites video as well, let me know because you know, I love to share my favorites with you. And I've got quite a few to do with like my fitness and health journey at the moment. Maybe I can share that with you. I mean, the fussy deodorant is definitely a real good favorite for that because it's been helping me smell fresh whilst I've been on this running journey, which I'm very, very appreciative of because Men oh man, do I get sweaty when I'm running. The boys are currently helping Mark with the garden. <laughs> so they're just getting some of the gravel and putting it into the wheelbarrow. And they're taking it over to the other side of the garden where we're putting it into like the mud area. You'll be able to see in a second, I'll show you it. So we've put all of the gravel in the, into these areas down here. And we're gonna put some rocks around. I think it will look quite pretty actually, especially when the flowers start coming out. I'll show you a little bit closer up later. Okay, so I really wanted to make some chocolate banana cookies today. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I thought I'd make them with you. So what I'm gonna use first is one cup of oats. Just about got enough. Oh my God, I'm spilling it everywhere. So what, one cup of oats. I actually should have mashed the banana up first. So I'm just gonna mash some two bananas up. Right, now I'm just gonna add the banana with the oats. This is so easy to do, guys. So, so simple. But it's a nice little healthy snack for the kids later. I just need two tablespoons of cacao powder. I just got this today, actually, when I was in M&S. One, two. And then I'm just gonna mix this all together. The final thing I'm gonna add to the mix are some chocolate chips, because who doesn't love chocolate chips? I know the boys will definitely appreciate that. And the mix is nearly done. These smell so good. Three ingredients, well, four ingredients, including the chocolate chip, chocolate cookies, but a little bit more of a healthy version. So that's what they look like. Renzo's gonna try one of my cookies. Orlando's already tried it. Did you like it? You have another one? What do you reckon? <laughs> do you like it? Do you like that bit, Erin? Oh my god, oh god, that was quick. So the boys have been out in the garden whilst I've been working and I thought I'd show you some progress of the garden and how it's currently looking and like a few different plans that we have decided on. So let me take you over here, which is where the gravel is and where they've been removing the gravel and putting it from one area to another area. This is how it currently looks. So these are the original flagstones that are under here. Don't they look lovely? I was hoping you'd want to keep them. <laughs> I wish we could like buy some other ones to fill it in. Do you think you could? Yeah. Really? Save a lot of money, wouldn't it? They do it. look, I mean, they do look really lovely. Well, they're original, yeah. I don't know, I've just... years old. Well, well they probably... Years old, I don't know, this is the, uh, I don't know how it looks over there though. Do, do you remember they were broken over there, weren't they? Pardon? There's none over there, no. Strange. But this is how it's currently looking. Obviously that was where the waterfall was and the pond used to be right here. Um, but you've got rid of all of this gravel today, which is great. You've moved so much gravel today. Yeah, you've done really well. These flagstones are massive. Yeah. They actually look really good st under here. You like them? Well, yeah, they've come up really well, actually. They look better than I remember, don't yeah. they? Yeah, they actually do. Probably because you like sort of vintage. We'll see. We'll see what to do with them. If they're salvageable, we can salvage them. And then if I take you over here, they've been putting some gravel down. So we did some of this yesterday, didn't we? Uh, yesterday, no, day four. What's that, day four? Oh, day four. So they've put the gravel and like mixed stones down. Thinking what we should do, babe, is um, with some of the rocks, you know, the ones that we've got left over, we should kind of put them around the perimeter of these areas. This looks really built up here. Is it really that much sand? Uh, this looks really like a mound. It's a bit moundy, isn't it? But we can put some of that over there, can't we? Because we need to fill that one. That's the last. That's the last bit we need to fill. But yeah, it does look a lot nicer, like lighter and brighter. It's quite pretty. What are you 
So I think leave it for now. Well, I was thinking that we could like paint this um, floor. You know me, I always can't think of like different ideas of things we can do or we can like put something over the top of it. But then I just thought, do you know what? If we're not doing the rest of this path that goes all the way around the garden, I don't really want to have like lots of mishmash of like different things. And eventually once we do the kitchen, we will eventually do the, the garden path. Um, so I feel like we should just wait until we do this. There's no point spending money on this for no reason. No. I mean, if you were to paint it, it might look all right, but then it might look really bad and then you can't really I get mean, like rid of it. it. Come yeah, it needs pressure washing because it's a bit mossy at the minute. But this, this area needs a little bit of tidying and like sorting out. Though. Yeah, we've got some wildflowers down here. Wild garlic, is that? Some yeah. yeah, snowdrops and bluebells. What's the wisteria doing at the minute? Not a lot. Some buds, I can see a few buds relaxed, growing. <laughs> we didn't actually do much with it this year, so no, we'll just see what it does because last year it still didn't flower and I don't know what to do with it. So we've put some like membrane underneath here, like to stop the weeds growing through and we don't, there was not really any weeds in this bit anyway. Um, but we put some membrane down, need to do it over here and like sort this out. Yeah, it all needs sorting out, but this is just the, for the moment. I'm excited right, for this to flower. Yeah, it's gonna the look rhododendron. Really I've seen, really well. I saw a few today flowering, and they smelled so nice when yeah. I was running past them. It's doing really well, that one. Yeah, I think it just looks a mess at the moment, but at least the sky's blue. Hey, today it it's been raining. Really hey, I know it really is. But you could do something different with that area and like have a feature of it. Do you know what I mean? Some people do like two different oh, vibes. You know how like some people do like a composite decking that way, and then you have your tiles that way, or or a different type of tile that way like a smaller tile i wonder if these tiles could be repurposed over where we just were what do you mean? where the gravel is and use them on the path do you think that's big enough for the path like long enough oh, I might have it maybe about food, cool, i don't know i don't know i don't know we'll have a, little thing. a lot fresher with a brand new tile i think a new tile would look better maybe yeah. we can reuse these somewhere else though because they are big and lovely aren't they, they are you could lay them how thick do you reckon they are mm, quite inch, thick inch and a half. Do you know what I mean? This is probably as wide as the path over in the other yeah, area. it's all well and good, but you've got to cut them all, haven't you? You've got to cut every block. I keep thinking of all these different I'm things, like, and um, I just can't keep up with it. You're like Drew, and I'm like T, because you're thinking that looked lovely, and I'm thinking, actually, I've got to move that. Yeah, that's, that's raised about three You're ton. thinking of the reality a bit, and I'm just like, I'm oh, the end result. I'm thinking I've got to lift that up somehow, it's well heavy. What a faff. It's probably like 200 kilos. Do my back right in. Mark's got the sniffles today, haven't you? Man flu, always. Man flu. You went for your run today? Yeah. Mark did 28 minutes running today. 28 that's minutes. great, isn't it? Well done. Starts off incredibly like you can't be bothered, and then after like oh, 10 know. minutes of trotting along, you actually think, I can do I'm such an early bird, I go straight away in the morning. But you don't mind leaving it a bit later, do you? No, I, leave it I don't mind to it whenever. But when I was listening to Mitty today, he's like, he said, initially, when you go out for a run, the first like 10 minutes, you don't feel great. It's because your yeah. body's like in shock. Yeah. And then your body like self settles and realizes, like, oh, my heart rate has to be up now for some reason. Then yeah, it, it I settles get that. down, then, it's, then it makes you feel better. It always takes me a little while to get into it. Oh, actually. the initial like 10 minutes is just like. Can't be bothered. <laughs> the boys have got swimming tonight, so we're going to take them swimming after. We used to do dinner. We've got some uh, food in the slow cooker. Oh. What have we got today? Meaty Mighty. Meals we call it there. Meaty Mighty. What are we doing it with? Couscous? Yeah, it's couscous. easy couscous, isn't it? Oh my god, it's so quick. Yeah, and then I always it love it because like it's just easy to eat and it's quick. Yeah. Easier than pasta because pasta, like, don't know, if you get like the fusilli, it like slides around, doesn't it? Fusilli, yeah. Hard to get. Definitely. So I wrong, do you know right? what I want to do this year? I think we should learn a bit of Italian together. Yeah, you're already fluent in Italian. No, but so... I can't remember anything, honestly. I've been watching TikToks with like Italian videos. I can't remember half the stuff. Yeah, but you just speak to your mum in Italian. No, I understand it more. But... Every time you speak to you on the phone, just speak Italian. We're going to Italy this year, guys. I don't yeah. know if I've mentioned that. We are in the summer. So maybe we should do a little bit of Italian together. Come on. Lessons. No, we just learn it. I think it would be cute for the boys to learn a few phrases. That would uh, be well sweet, wouldn't fluent, it? Wouldn't it? Oh, I know. I actually, look, I looked back at my ancestry account the other day, and I'm more Italian than I thought. Oh, I was. Yes, forty-four percent. That's mad, isn't it? It's quite a lot, isn't Ooh, it? More sorry. Italian than I thought. I know my mum's like her parents are both Italian, and obviously I've got a, oh, I've got an English so dad, but my mum's me. I am. Yeah. Seventy-five percent English. Seventy-five percent, and then what's the, what's the other? Nine percent Irish. Yeah. Eight percent Swedish. Cool. 3% Norway, 2% Wales, 2% Scotland. Ah. No German in no, there. No French either with the surname. No, it's a French name, obviously. 
Just thousand years ago, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So 75% English, me. Yeah. Quite interesting. I'm Devon boy. You're a Devon boy. Devon. Yeah. Devon Bowie. Uh, so, yeah, I think what we're going to do now is go tidy up a little bit <laughs> and then sort the boys out. Dinner, all of that kind Which of good be, stuff. So, what we're trying to do here is at the end of these holidays, we're trying to have all this prepped so yes. that we can hardcore it. Yeah, get the floor prepped here. So, then we've got to lay all this gravel and no, like, that's called hardcore. It's like big chippings, basically. Yeah. I just hope we get some nice weather. It's sunny now, but like Changing there's a the bag, massive black cloud over there, yeah, so it's yeah. going to rain in a minute. We're going to have to get these out because they're soft underneath. Look. Yeah, you yeah, lay, you can you see it moving. These, yeah. it it's going to take switch. it down, isn't it, the floor? Yeah, but that hardcore has got to be like 100 mil. Yeah. Like that much. Yeah. Because we're going to be mm. all the time. It's fine, we can create a little step, can't we? So, yeah, I think I'll end the video there, guys. We're going to take the boys swimming in a minute. Well, Landy's doing really well, actually. Let me just quickly speak about Landy, because when we first started taking him swimming, we started taking him swimming lessons about five weeks ago now. When he first started, although he loves going in the water with us, at the start, he was really nervous about obviously going in the water on his own and jumping in. And I was a bit like, oh, you know, like the more you watch them, the more they look at you for like that reassurance. And he'd get the little bottom lip out and I'd be like, oh my God, like, come on, you can do it. But last week, the first time he jumped in on his own, I think he's definitely influenced by the other children there because yes, there was another so little true. girl that was really scared at first. And then she, hold, she held the instructor's hand and jumped in and Orlando did the same. And then she went in on her own and he copied her. So I think he'll be fine today again. Better, yeah, it's I just good. think it's good for them. And Vinny already knows how to swim. Enzo's going, he's like in a higher level. And they're doing really well. So, yeah, swimming for the win. I, I can't swim very well. I'm not a very good swimmer. Yeah, we, I do a froggy paddle, yeah. isn't it? Like like your own so it's like a doggy paddle and a frog, frog legs. Yeah. <laughs> really terrible. I really should paddle. do, yeah, I should do some lessons as well. Really. Why? Oh, I'm not that you good. You swim very much. You no, swim. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Channel. Yeah. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out Fussy and use my discount code. I'll leave all the information down below in the description box for you. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.